Hi, this is David Papkin. Welcome back to Core Solutions of Skype for Business. In this video, we're going to be upgrading Link 2013 to Skype for Business. So what I'm going to do is, on a member server, I'm going to install Skype for Business admin tools, and then I will upgrade Link 2013 pool to Skype for Business and publish the server. Topology. So on this member server, I'm going to install, actually this is the uh, Skype for Business install tool. And right now in the background, it's going to install C++ executable. As you can see, it's installing this first. Now I'm not going to check for updates. Of course, in real life, I would do so, but not for this. Because for this one right here, I'm using the, re the release to manufacturing version. So I'm going to install the administrative tools. And the administrative tools is going to be the topology builder and the Skype for Business control panel. So I'm finished. And the next thing I'm going to do is exit. I'll close Explorer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the pool to SFB and then publish it. So on Trace Server 1, you can see I have some different ones. This is the PowerShell. This is the control panel. On this is and here's this one should be here, the topology builder. I'm going to download topology. Save it as that. to London. Link 2013. Standard because there's a standard front end right here. And I'm going to do is on this. Upgrade to Skype for Business. Yes, I do want to upgrade it. So this is going to move um, this one right here to the Skype for Business structure. Notice that now it's moved it to Skype for Business Standard Edition front end servers. Notice it's here right now. And I'm going to do is in this one right here. I'm going to publish the topology. Now let's look at the to do list right here. Stop the Skype for Business and all the servers you're upgrading. If, it, if it's an in-blade upgrade, you start it and all the servers you upgraded. You're one of the starts, and any of the servers start CS pool command. In other pools, like Edge or Mediation Run, start CS Windows Server. So now I'm going to just finish. And the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to perform an in-place upgrade from Link to Skype for Business. Now I'm going to open the Link Server Management shell on this one right here. This one gets CS Management Store Application 1. Good. It's up to date, it's true. Now, I want to do is stop all the link services before upgrading. Yeah. 
gas. We'll stop them all. Great. Now that they've all been stopped, we'll D drive on this. And this is going to do is run setup. Of course, it's going to, you know, the Visual C++ as needed. And then we'll go into setup in a second. Now, for this demo, I'm not going to check for updates. But, of course, in real life, in production, you would definitely do that. Turn. It's no longer Skype for business. It's going to verify upgrade read readiness. It's going to do everything on this list. Now that the up, now watch this. Now there's a Skype for Business management shell. So now I'm going to do is start the the pool. So what I did is start CS pool, pool FQDN, trade desk link, trade research net verbose, starting, and now it's running. Next, get CS window service, and I'll just show you that they're all running. So after completing this, I validated the replication of the CMS and performed an in-place upgrade of TreyLink Research.net. Now, I mean, I can also do this, of course. To verify. So all I'm going to do is log into Trey Research. I'm just going to verify I can get in the SFB control panel. And as you can see, I can get into the SFB control panel right here. So the upgrade has been successful. This is David Pampkin. This concludes this video demo of upgrading. Thank you for watching.